what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so just finished uh doing the live stream reactions on my channel man shout out to everyone that was there um we weren't able to do the live stream reactions on the main page because dub was out with his family so he wasn't gonna be home in time for the start of smackdown but i held down the fort so shout out to everyone that was a part of the stream and really do appreciate you guys but for those who missed the stream we got to talk about the interaction with jimmy Sami Zayn and Jay Uso and the the story that they're now starting to tell with Sami trying to I guess you can say recruit people or in a sense trying to get people to realize what Roman has been doing this entire time I love the fact that J uh, Jimmy came out there and you know he's he's wanting to get some answers from Jay and before he came out there paul Heyman basically said yo you need to handle this jay situation because next week on smackdown if it's not handled tonight i'm gonna handle it myself so jimmy's out there trying to get jay to come out there he's not answering his calls and texts try to talk to him like we're family like what's going on he like you know let's let's sort this out then sammy with the hoodie or hoodie sammy who however you want to call it comes out through the crowd and I love Jimmy's emotion here. He's upset. He's pissed. He's irritated. And Sammy comes out there pretty much says, yo, like, hey, I need to talk to you, bro. I'm not here to fight you. I mean, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, you was the first person to actually accept me into the bloodline. You was the only person for the longest that actually treated me like family. And if you guys know this whole storyline, Jimmy's always been cool with him from the jump. He was had the handshake and everything. He's like, yo, you, you really have my back. And I'm not going to lie to you. It hurt when Roman, you know, well, not when Roman, but when, you know, you decided to attack me after everything that went down at the Royal Rumble, you didn't even hesitate. You just went in without even thinking and that hurt me and I, i'm glad they brought that up because jimmy has always had his back but when sammy finally said he was done and he hit roman with the chair jimmy didn't even waste a second he didn't waste one single second and i, I like that they brought that up and jimmy was you know jimmy's response is like so you're trying to blame this on me <clears throat> you made that choice you decided to do what you did you betrayed us we let you in the fold and you betrayed us <clears throat> and i like sammy's response things are getting heated up you know things are starting to get intense get a little bit more personal and sammy's like yo no 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 see what you fail to realize is for y'all to sit up here and call me family every single week i had to prove myself family doesn't have to prove themselves every single week i had to jump through hoops every single week you know i had to do this and that and this just to prove my worth and at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, Roman has been manipulating you guys. And the one person he's been manipulating the most has been Jay. And if you want to be honest, Jay has been the one person he's manipulated the most. He's the first person that fell in line in this whole bloodline saga. And he's been the one that's been mistreated, probably the worst out of everybody. So I like that he mentioned that. And then you see in the crowd, jay uh is in the in uh in the stand uh in, in the in the crowds in the stand area or whatnot and that's when jimmy ends up attacking sammy and then you know jimmy's trying to get jay to come down and help and that's when uh sammy gets back up hicks uh jimmy with the haluva kick or whatnot he hits him with the haluva kick sammy and jay looking at each other then that's when solo comes out sammy gets out of dodge obviously and before he gets before sammy leaves the, the ringside area he's looking at jay and jay's looking at him and it's it's one of those things where I, I i like michael cole announced it on commentary it doesn't seem like endearing or anything like that it seems like you know there's like some confusion there because at the end of the day jay just saw jimmy get haluva kicked that's his brother you know they have each other's back so jay just saw sammy uh, Huluva kicked his brother Jimmy. 
So I, I wonder if that's going to play a fact. I wonder if Roman's going to bring that up next week. And honestly, I think that's what they could do. Roman is very good at manipulating. I can see Roman bringing up the fact that Sammy speared Jimmy at the Royal Rumble when he was trying to spear, not oh, uh, at Elimination Chamber. Sammy speared Jimmy. And he also attacked his brother. Uh, no, no, Sammy speared Jay. My bad. Sammy speared Jay at Elimination Chamber. And, oh, of course, on accident. And then he just attacked his brother jimmy with the luba kick so why are we batting for someone that's been attacking that's attacked you guys twice granted it was some reasons why it happened but i can see him doing that to kind of get them to like yo he's not really he's not really one of us he's the enemy you know and at some point it's gonna happen where sammy is going to catch some more beats and maybe at some point kevin owens will be like you know what we got to do this together Let's put Barry the Hatchet. Let's take these M, these uh, the ML. You know, you know, I can't cuss too much. Let's take these mu them MFers down. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what's gonna happen. But right now, still the best storyline that's going on in WWE. And the great thing about it, Roman doesn't have to be there every single week to make the story great. That's when you know the story is that good. You don't have to have Roman in it. People are just as invested in the Jay storyline. People want to know how this is going to play out with Jimmy. Also, where does Solo uh, align in this whole situation? You don't have to have Roman every week for the story to work. And I like that and I appreciate that. So I'm looking forward to next week. See Ro what Roman has to say. And at what point will we get the infamous beatdown when Jay finally says, screw it. You guys are right. Because I, I do see it happening. It's going to happen. So comment down below. Let me know where... What do you guys think of this uh, this segment that took place tonight? Where do you think it's heading? Do you guys feel like it's going to head with Jay finally, you know, just, you know, giving in and saying, screw it. I'm going to, you know, stay with my family and end up uh, pretty much. I I'm, I'm, I guess you could say betraying Jim uh, Sammy because he's kind of aligned himself a little bit with Sammy. But, you know, not 100%. But I can see him maybe turning on Sammy at some point and they give uh sammy the brutal beats which ultimately may lead to kevin owens once again getting involved in this whole situation so let me know where you guys think this is going in the future one of the best segments of the show loving this storyline and it's getting better bit by bit this is one of those things where we're witnessing something rare we're witnessing a storyline that started from somewhere and now it's it's fractured into something else we got the cody and roman and now we got the sammy and kevin owens and the usos and it's it's it's, it's all gonna culminate to the downfall of the bloodline at this year's wrestlemania so let me know where you guys think the story is going but i appreciate all the love and support thank you to everyone that was in the stream thank you guys so much for that uh we should be able to stream on the main channel uh for monday night raw this upcoming monday so be on the lookout for that but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i am still your undisputed youtube wrestling champion of the world and you're in the clutch world heavyweight champion appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace